Hello, in this video I'm talking about triclosan, a compound that's in many personal care products that may be even in your home. I'd love to invite you to go to yerba.com to get your personalized report. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we're always putting out new content. What is triclosan? Triclosan is a chemical compound that's present in many of the things that we use every day in taking care of ourselves, from lotion to deodorant, toothpaste, hand sanitizer, a lot of the things that generate lather and that we use when we want to take the absolute best care of ourselves. Why is it a problem? Well, a lot of us are concerned about things in our everyday life, common contaminants, things that are used to make a product more sellable, if you will, that haven't been investigated thoroughly for safety. Perhaps they've been looked at in the lab in animals, but not studied thoroughly in human beings. Triclosan has been found to be excreted in the urine and breast milk, and it's been found in the blood of people who use these products and also in people who don't use the products. So we may actually be picking up triclosan in our bodies through our drinking water, for example. So what do we know about triclosan and breast cancer in particular? A 2023 study looked at 4,000 people. And in the people who had triclosan in their urine, there was a twofold or twice as much risk of breast cancer. Now the risk was really low, it was 3%, but it was about twice as high in people who had triclosan in their urine. This is an association, not a causation, and it's very likely that triclosan is used with other chemicals as well, and that there may be other exposures in the life of people being exposed to triclosan that we can't completely rule out. If you wanna learn more about your treatment options, I'd love to invite you to go to yerba.com to get your personalized report. Your Yerba report is created by, once you give us access to securely access your medical records, taking everything that we know about your tumor, all the procedures you've had or haven't had done, and cross-referencing that with the latest medical information. Go to yerba.com to get your personalized report. What are you supposed to do about this? Check the products in your cabinets. If triclosan is in your toothpaste or your lotion or your hand sanitizer, perhaps you don't want to use it. There are alternatives, and in fact, packages may be labeled saying that they're free of triclosan. As we learn more and more about this, the Food and Drug Administration may actually require that these, this compound be removed from products or that labeling be crystal clear whether triclosan is present or not in these common personal care and household products. One thing that we need to be concerned about is as oversight over companies that make these products goes down, it's possible that we'll be exposed to more and more chemicals. In general, chemicals that disrupt estrogen are the ones we're most concerned about. If they look like estrogen to the body, you can see how they might stimulate breast cancer if we're exposed to them in more than the normal estrogen we all have in our own body. So these are called estrogen disruptors and they mimic estrogen. We worry about these things with lawn care products, paints, anything that is, creates fumes or that we take up into our body. So check the labels. Again, I can't say it's a cause of breast cancer all we can say right now is that there's some epidemiologic evidence that there may be a risk. Remember, triclosan may come along with other chemicals and it may come along with other factors such as greater levels of education, which also go along with other exposures. So this is not, this video is not intended to say triclosan is the reason you have breast cancer or triclosan causes breast cancer. Rather, it's a call for awareness and a call for awareness about the chemicals that are in our environment and the role that industry plays in population health. I'd love to know your thoughts. Drop a comment or a question below. It's an emerging field where more and more evidence is being developed, which I find hopeful and encouraging. At the same time, we increase our awareness of things to which we are exposed. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.